Hello, today I'll be talking about Billy Graham and his speech, Who is Jesus, and just how effective he is at delivering his message. So, Graham is a very effective speaker, and he is very straight up when he talks, and very authentic, and you can see this in his sermon when he just lays down the truth of God, and I feel like that is his main goal. He's not really poetic or clever in the things he says, but he's just laying down the truth, and that is his speaking style. Some things I noticed about Graham were his commanding presence in the pulpit, just the authority and knowledge he had. Really, you can't really take your eyes off of him just because of his commanding presence. And he uses body language very well. So I noticed his hands were always moving. He uses his hands to really emphasize words. And a prime example of this is when he is talking about Jesus getting his na hands nailed. So he uses his hands to really, he like does this when he's talking about the story. He says, Jesus' hands were nailed. And he uses his hand as a hammer to his other hand, like Jesus getting the nails in his hands. And this really made me imagine Jesus on the cross with nails in his hands and how painful that must have been. So he uses his body language and his hands to really give imagery to the audience, which is a very good thing. Also, Graham's use of tempo and tone of his voice is very good. And it talks about this in Lessons from the Podium, about how to engage your audience with the tempo of your words. And I think it's just a gift from God that Graham was blessed with. So another thing from Lessons from the Podium is it talks about three main things you need to do in your speaking. And it talks about um, repeating themes, evoking emotion, and building to climax. And Graham does all three of these things. Repeating themes, he repeats who is Jesus over and over and over again. Evoking emotion. You can see that as the crowd claps and cheers and praises God during the sermon. And building to the climax, he builds to the point of the altar call where tons of people are getting saved and his whole sermon is building to that point. And so we can take all these things into account when we are studying Billy Graham and seeing how good of a speaker he is. So thank you for listening and I hope you have a good rest of the week.